Dear Shenzhen, It's been a while since I woke up to the sound of your construction. For 20 years, you took care of me, you've taught me, and you fed me. Very well. The first time we met, I was three, and you were still growing. This world looks at you and thinks of you as a high-tech superpower, a Silicon Valley. A place for new adventures for some, and opportunities for others. We've had 20 years of stories. The first memory will always be Dongmen. As a kid, I think as most kids growing up in Shenzhen, Dongmen was a small paradise. It had everything you wanted from DVDs, CDs, and even tattoos. None of my tattoos are from Dongmen. <sighs> and even at one point, it was the start of the survey scene in Shenzhen. How quickly you grew to be such a big city, but we will never forget those minibuses and all the people chasing after them. Of course you grew and you got an amazing subway. For a Nanshan boy like me, it meant freedom. Finally, I didn't have to spend a fortune to go to local. And time went on. I went to high school and you just kept on growing. You became something no one had ever seen. And in such a short time, built so quickly, and it all seemed so flawless. Rome was not built in a day, but Shenzhen was built pretty quickly. We were into a city where we would not have to worry about basic problems, where we could focus on whatever we needed to focus on. Something for everyone, no matter to how it should be. No one ever bored. Always amazing food to eat and an unforgettable nightlife. The night of Shenzhen deserves its own story. There is no greater art piece than a night of Shenzhen. Whether it's Hoko and Dawushu with your friends or in Superface. It's all equally unforgettable. But what makes Shenzhen truly Shenzhen? Well, that's all of you. Well, to me, that's what makes Shenzhen. So many amazing people, each working on their own story. Whether you had just come to Shenzhen or if you have been there for years, you would never look down upon, always welcome with open arms. Stories of people who had an idea, worked their asses off and succeeded. No bullshit, no jealousy, just admiration and motivation. When I was in high school, my Weibo ID was Hongranlo. I hope you can get out. But that's all for now. Not a goodbye. Not sure when we will meet. <laughs>